Good morning, my name is Matthew from Axel Technologies and today I'm making a quick video to show how to configure a USB to serial converter such as this to work with an Axel ThinkLine terminal. I'm using a, an Axel Model 80 terminal here, it has four USB ports and no serial ports so if you wish to attach a serial device or if you wish to configure the terminal to behave like a VT100 type serial terminal then you can use a converter such as this. The first step is to attach the dongle to the terminal and enter setup, diagnostics, USB and check that the dongle is seen. So here we have the top, the USB serial converter and if we select that it shows us the USB location. It also confirms the manufacturer so this device is in fact made by Prolific Technology Incorporated although the actual device itself gives no clue about that, it's just a generic made in China dongle. Um, so if the dongle isn't seen here then there's no point going further because the terminal hasn't recognized it for whatever reason so it won't be able to redirect it because it won't know it's a serial uh, converter. So that's the first thing to check. Within the terminal setup, control alt escape, the first step is to go into ports, USB logical ports, it, it'll be auto detected and you'll see it here with USB 1 and if you go down to the bottom it says RDP ICA redirection active make sure that is set to or set it to as COM port. You can also set the COM port number now bear in mind that COM 1 will be seen as a virtual COM port on this terminal and that has no relation to the physical COM port on the server. So you could have multiple terminals all having COM port 1 and there would be no conflict. That, is, that, that COM port is purely a reference within the RDP connection of this terminal. And you can of course change that to a different COM port, to COM 3, if you wanted to, um, if your software required a specific COM port. I'll leave it set to COM 1. The second step is within sessions, session one, pick our session, and down the bottom we have redirected resources, COM LPT ports, make sure that is set to COM1 USB1. I've connected my terminal to my terminal server and pulled up a command prompt and entered the line echo text is greater than or redirect COM1 and if I press return then the terminal will send the text down to its local virtual COM1 port which is not a physical serial port but it is the, the USB port with the serial connector on it and that is connected via this cable to my serial device over here which happens to be a terminal but it could be anything uh, so when I press return, the text should be echoed down the COM port and come on to the serial device, which it does. If it doesn't work, then the thing to check is on the terminal, if you press Control alt shift i a window pops up. It gives some information about the serial connection. It, say, it confirms that it's called COM1, it's on the USB 1 port, and it also says it is closed. Now it will always be closed except when data is actually being transmitted. So in order to keep the port open there needs to be data continually sent or received through the serial port and to do that we will need to set up a loop. The command line to continually echo text uh, is as we can see here. I hope that's clear enough on the screen. I think it should be. And if I press the go button you'll see we continually send the text to the serial connection. And if I leave that running and pan the camera around and I pop up the Control alt shift i window, see the COM1 port is open and it confirms the baud rate, the uh, number of data bits, the parity and the stop bit. Very little to go wrong so far. Um, I suspect that most problems are caused by cabling. So just to confirm what we have here, we have the terminal, here's the USB to serial dongle, a straightforward serial cable going to a null modem block 
going to the axle terminal. The, the cause of, of the potential problem is on a serial connection you have um, on pins 2 and pins 3 in the serial cable receive and transmit and they have to be transposed so the receive of one device is connected to the transmit on the other and vice versa. So if you have two similar devices then there's a high probability that transmit and receive will both be on either pin 2 or pin 3 so if you have a straight through cable you'll be joining the two transmits and the two receives together and it won't work. So in that situation you need to introduce a null modem block which simply uh, crosses over pins 2 and pins 3. In some serial cables they have built into their wiring a crossover so they automatically cross over pins 2 and pins 3 and some peripherals have within their serial ports pins 2 and pins 3 crossed over in which case you can use a straight forward 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3 serial cable. So the only way to know for sure is to look at the reference manual for both products and find out on what pin the receive and transmit are and then with the cable buzz out with an AVO and check that pins 2 and, and pins 3 are either crossed or not crossed and don't need to be. The other more pragmatic way is just to, if it doesn't work first time, then chuck in a non-modem and if they need to be crossed and they aren't, that will cross them and if they don't need to be crossed and they are, then that will effectively cross the cables twice which gets you back to where you started from and that should work. I'll just finally add that if you do have a Model 85 terminal then these do have, in addition to four USB ports around the side, they have two serial ports here. We use RJ45 serial ports simply because of the constraints of space so uh, we, we provide dongles that convert the RJ45 to either a DB25 serial connector or a DB9 connector on the same pinout and gender as a COM port on a standard PC. Um, so on a Model 85 you probably wouldn't need to use a USB to serial converter, but they do work if you do require one. So if you have any questions please contact your local Axel office or our details will follow after this video. Thank you very much and bye for now.